welcome to Fiddlerman.com. This is a site where I'll teach you how to play the violin for free. Obviously, I have a problem on my A string. I've, I've been a little bit neglectful. Usually, I change my strings every six weeks, but I think I've been playing for over two months without changing my strings. So, I'm going to have to change them, and I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. So, I, I usually start I'll, on one end. I either start on the E string, or I'll start on the G string and I'll tune the other strings accordingly. I never take off all the strings at the same time because if you do that, then you're releasing all the pressure that's on this bridge right here. And if you release all the pressure from the bridge, the sound post, which is inside the violin, can fall over if you're unlucky. It shouldn't, but it, it can do that. So I accumulated my strings here. I'm gonna change them right in front of you so you know how to do it. I'm gonna begin on the E string just because I choose to do so. No particular reason. So I'm taking off the E string right now, and I'm grabbing a new one. The E string is a steel string. Mostly that's what we use, steel E strings. Then we have synthetic strings on the A, D, and G, and sometimes we even have steel strings on the other strings. If, if you play a, a electric instrument, like a, a Zeta or something, then you want to have steel strings so that the contact will be made. So what I do is I stick the string inside the hole far enough in so that after I wrap the string if I'm not happy with the angle that I get on my peg I can loosen it up a little bit pull the string out and retighten it that way I can get a better angle so my hand doesn't hit the peg when I'm vibrating on the E string. Then I cross over the string and then I cross over another time as I'm spinning it around. That will hold the string in place. Okay. Now, before I screw it too far, I'm going to connect it on the bottom here. I'm going to stick it. In my case, I have a fine tuner that you have to stick it through the hole. Okay. Now, when I feel that it's catching on the fine tuner, I'll put some pressure on the string so that it won't slip as I'm tightening it up. Now I'm going to tighten it, okay, and I'll pull it out just a little bit so it's not up against the hole. That's it. With an E string, you should try to keep the little plastic tab so that the string doesn't dig into the bridge. Now, the, only, the first string I changed is the E string, meaning that the other string should be pretty close, so I have something to go by. So the E string is obviously very low. So I'll just tune a fifth between the A and the E. My A string is still dead. It sounds really weird, right? So I'm going to go right, right to the A string, pull it off. It feels good to get this worn out string off of my violin. And I'll grab a new one. I'm going to use a Piranito today. The reason I'm using a Piranito is because it's a steel string. Normally I don't use steel strings on my A, but I have to play tomorrow, I have a concert, and I need for this to be in good shape quickly. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll stick it up there on the top in the pegs hole. It's kind of hard to see it because the A string is way up there. And I want to make sure it goes through far enough so I can adjust it later on. Although the A string is the one that I probably least need to adjust. And I'm crossing over, back and forth, so that the string will stick. Now I leave enough length on the bottom so I can stick it through the fine tuner and make sure that it catches. Now it did catch, I'm pretty sure. I'll keep the pressure and then I have the D string and the E to go by with the intonation, the relative pitch of the D. And as I spoke about tuning your violin in a previous video, you can think about twinkle, twinkle, little star, for example. Twinkle, twinkle, so we gotta find an A. Now I apply a little pressure. Twinkle, twinkle. I have a little higher so because it's gonna stretch. So now we have the D, the, the E, and the A. Now the E is already stretched, so it's already much lower than it should be. I'm going to put all the strings on before I go back and adjust the pegs to, to be where I want them to be. As you can see on my D and my G, they're, they're 
parallel to each other. This is the way I like to have it so I can tune the violin quickly later on. So now we go to the D string and pull that string off. I'll take the mute off as well or let it fall off and I'll grab a D. I'm going to use dominance today because since I'm playing tomorrow I need a string that's going to stretch very quickly and your synthetic strings will do that. Plus, dominants are very often used on very fine instruments. They're good strings. They're not the absolute most expensive strings, but they're very good strings and they're well proven. So once again, I'm gonna stick it through far enough. You see how that's sticking out right there? So that later on, I can pull it out and get the peg where I want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna let that, that piece that's sticking out go on one side of the string, then I'm gonna make it go on the other side of the string so that it will hold it together. Then I'll pull the peg out slightly so I squish them together. Now I'm going to tune it up using the other strings that are on. My A string is already stretched out so let me pull that back up again. string here. I didn't realize I had so many used ones. Usually I throw them away, but you never know. Stick it through the hole far enough that you can later on pull it out to adjust it. Cross it on one side, cross over to the other side, then pull the peg out slightly to make sure they're touching each other so that they won't so it won't slip. Then you stick it in the hole here on the tail piece like that. There's no fine tuner on the D and the G, at least in my case. And keep the pressure as you're tightening it up. Maybe pull it out a little bit and then put the pressure back on again. So whenever you tighten your pegs, you want to push them in so they don't slip out later on. Okay, so now I've changed all the strings. One thing you want to do is you always want to keep an eye on the bridge, make sure it's not leaning too much. As you can see, it's leaning forward slightly. It's better for it to lean back slightly. And if you do what I'm doing right now, you have to hold the bridge very securely on both sides because it can fall easily if you pull it too far back. And gently pull back on it. You, you may not want to do this without loosening the strings, but I've done it so many times that I'm okay. Now if you look, it's leaning back slightly, which is just the way I want to have it for tuning it up. Now these strings are going to stretch a lot in the next few days so you want to you want to tune it off in the first hour and you want to keep you might even want to tune it up slightly like almost a half a step just so that it'll stretch a little faster and depending on what strings you use the, the, the strings may stretch very much or they might just stretch a little bit it depends if you use synthetic strings or if you use uh, gut strings. Gut strings will stretch for a couple weeks they'll stretch a lot in the first week and it'll be a lot more work and it'll take a lot more time they do sell string stretchers that you can put your strings on in case you want to use gut strings at all times and you you may in an emergency situation need to get a string off and have it stretched well these string stretchers will pre-stretch your strings and they can be probably bought online and found at a lot of, a lot of string shops so let's check the strings again See how fast the, the strings are stretching? So, um, my strings are basically changed now. Just that my D string turned out in a perfect position for my hand, and my G string did not. So, probably in about an hour, I'm going to readjust it. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit, like this. And then I'll pull the string. I'll pull the string out like this, I keep the pressure at all times, and then I'll turn it a quarter turn so I get it where I want it to be, and then I'll retighten the peg again. That way the string will be in a better position for me to tune. Make sure on your steel strings and your fine tuners that you loosen the fine tuner all the way 
so that you have some adjustment. This is your lesson on how to change the strings. Thank you for visiting Fiddler Man.